Hello, welcome back to the Tarot Closet. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Tarot Closet. My name is Chris, and of course, welcome to your pick a card reading. Now we have three readings to choose from today. They are being represented by the overall energy of your reading. The first reading is the Eight of Wands. The second reading is the Wheel of Fortune. And the third reading is the Moon card. If you would like to take a moment to decide which reading is for you, they are time stamped down below if you want to get directly to your reading. It can be that you feel you have found your reading. It can also be that you're drawn to watch all readings and there's particular messages in each reading. It can be more than one is for you. It's going to be different for everyone. So take the time that you need and I'll see you at your reading, whether it's one, two, or three. Bye. Hello, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. We are shuffled and ready to go, so let's get started. We're going to begin your reading today by getting an overall energy card for the person and the connection you have arrived here for today. And I was just about to shuffle again. We're all shuffled, so let's get started. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Here we go. This is the overall energy card today. We have the Eight of Wands here, Pile One. Excuse me, Sagittarius energy. Somebody is trying to reach you. Looks like it can be through a message, through an SMS, through social media. It can also be in person, somebody coming here. So let's see what's going on with your reading. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Okay. Here we are. We're getting started. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Okay. Pile one. Pile one. Here's the last card coming down. Okay. I do have quite a few decks over here, by the way, that I will be bringing into the reading today. The first card is the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Temperance, more Sagittarius energy, right below the Knight of Pentacles. Really looks like somebody is wanting to come here and has a lot to say to you, Pile One. Do want to say here, it uh, looks like it might be about the imbalance here in the partnership, as we can see with the Temperance card. Your person possibly wanting to take this new path together. I do feel they have, well, as you see, one foot in, one foot out. Let's see what else is going on with the reading. But we can see right off the bat here with the Knight of Pentacles, they're, they're haphazard, as you can see. <laughs> Why can I not think of the word? <laughs> the um, harness, excuse me, not completely um, Close, not put together here. I'm feeling like in your reading today, this is your person really wanting to come quite quickly here. The Sun card in your second placement. This is your partnership placement, guys. This is also coming to a 10. This is the end of a cycle, a new cycle beginning here. Your person really wanting to reach you. And what kind of success are they wanting here? Well, here is the Page of Pentacles. We see that they're coming kind of haphazardly here. They have one foot in, one foot out. Now we see the Page of Pentacles here. Guys, your person could be younger, you could be younger, but that's not always going to be the case. It can also be, excuse me, the Nine of Wands. Got to get right into the reading here. Sagittarius energy. Who has some boundaries up? Is that you? Is that your person? We will get a better idea. Do you hear that in my voice? It's a throat chakra block here actually trying to come unblocked. Wow. The Nine of Pentacles as well. The Nine of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles right here together. Almost to 10 here. Looks to me that somebody is wanting to put that pentacle here, make that a 10. A new start, guys. A new start here. Can this be you? 
with your boundaries, not totally trusting this connection is what I'm feeling. Your person has had one foot in, one foot out. So them coming, I do feel like it's a cycle here, guys. Wanting this happy outcome, saying they want this happy outcome. Has you not feeling sure? And look what has come down. We have the Eight of Cups here. This is... If you watch my readings and if you don't I will tell you it's kind of evolved into a bit of the naughty corner it's where some energy can go that is maybe not the best some breadcrumbing ghosting that sort of thing interestingly enough I feel your energy here today pile one this is Pisces energy this is also the loss that you're feeling, your person realizing that why exactly you have the boundaries up. This is definitely you here. It's been very emotional. I do feel some of you are already on your way out or really thinking a lot about it. Look at that. Yeah, the Magician card coming right below. This is all about new beginnings. This is the Magician card. Now I wanna say to you, I do feel some of you are leaving in this pile. This particular pile is, is a lot about how your person has hurt you and you wanting to start new and well, get what you deserve here. This is the Magician card. This is about taking what it is you're dreaming about, making it a reality. Where is your hand? It's right here on this floral, laurel wreath. What is that? That is really wanting a new start, guys, new love. Now, it can be with your person, but I do feel like there will be some conditions here. Can also be that you're wanting to start with somebody entirely new. Some of you may have already. Now, the Magician card has everybody here. This is the kind of, this is everything love. This is, well, forever love, as we see with the infinity symbol, twin flame, soulmate energy. But it's it's everything. It's the love. It's the friendship. It's the commitment, feeling safe, and the commitment, all the practicalities of that lining up, having clarity, knowing where you stand, getting what it is you, you need, reciprocation. I want to tell you also, can't we, lest do we forget the passion inside, the wand, that is the energy of love, that is the passion behind the relationship here. This is everything, and everybody is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, guys, um, I want to just dig right in here a little bit more and we're going to get some more cards down. I do feel that this is your person here coming quite, well, as I said, haphazardly. What are they holding? They're holding the pentacle. What is the pentacle? The pentacle is the commitment. What is behind the commitment? feeling safe in the commitment, knowing that you're not going to be left, that your person is there for you, equal give and take reciprocation here. Also, the practicalities underneath that, things working out in terms of where you are in your location, where you are also in your life, what it is you want in the future and how that is being implemented in the now, how that, how you are paving the way for the future. I see here that your person, I feel, has been cycling in and out, might be coming quite haphazardly, as I said, can be coming through a message here with the Eight of Wands. These are the wands. These are the energy of love. This, these are, well, they're passionate. They're quite quick, which is very much the Eight of Wands as well. Again, Sagittarius energy. This is also about change and change being very quick. This is very much the energy of this reading as we see here with the Eight of Wands being the overall energy and your person jumping on this horse, not even fastening it. That is how fast they're wanting to get to you. Now, they do have a laurel wreath here in their helmet that is about reunions the laurel wreath of course being made of evergreen leaves which do not change color i do feel that beneath whatever despite whatever has been going on your person has not has not really in their they may have been i feel i feel like they have been playing some games here in this particular reading and cycling in and out and being unsure always having one foot in and one foot out is what it feels like i also feel as the temperance card is coming right below here at the knight of pentacles that your person is coming here either through a message or in person with the message of let's 
try this again. Now we see the sun here, the new path, and we see it right here. Right here in your second placement, this is your partnership placement. Now, I wanna tell you a couple of things here. We see the sunflowers, that is about knowing. There's your person on the horse. This is very passionate, it's very emotional. We also see a child here. That for me is an indication of a new beginning. But I want to tell you a couple of things. We see the two of you here. We see the feather in between you. This is a divinely guided connection. However, we also see here, if you're looking, this particular sunflower is blocked, not getting any sun here. So what has been happening in this partnership, I do feel it's your person's block, your person's cycling, your person's indecisiveness, possibly some ghosting and whatnot going on here. But coming in really quickly, guys, with this message, of wanting to start over, take this path. I do feel here that you're not entirely sure of trusting of your person. We see here the nine of wands. This is again, more Sagittarius energy. I do feel this is you putting up some, some boundaries here with your person. You're holding one. I do feel we see the block here in the sun card that it's something in particular that has gone on and has to do with the commitment. That can mean somebody else, can also mean that your person was not giving the same amount that you were, which we also do see in the temperance card. But I do feel also here, guys, that you have been, well, getting some stuff done in your life. This is the nine of pentacles. That nine also can be telling us that things are coming to fruition here. I do feel they are. Whether you decide to put that wand back there and make that 10, and that, as we know, can be burdensome, some worries. Put the, the ninth, excuse me, the tenth wand up, the ninth wand up, excuse me, <laughs> and walk away from that toward the ten. Let those go and move on here, guys. Also that nine of pentacles. Or if you're going to accept your person's offer here, as we see with the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles, which is a little bit of that not so sure energy, some immaturity, possibly some games, some some starts and ends, that sort of thing here. Wanting to put that pentacle here in that nine and make it a 10. So the question here, pile one is, are you going to remove those boundaries and hear your person out? It's gonna be different for everybody in restart here. We see that on the Magician card, and a lot of that will be getting over what happened here in the Eight of Cups. It's very emotional for you. What is that? What, what happened here? Or are you going to, well, take that pentacle and start for yourself here? Is there somebody new? It really is going to be different for everyone here because this particular energy, this particular reading is your person wanting a new start with you. But I'm feeling your energy here coming in that you're not entirely sure. Some of you may, as I said, have moved on, have even begun something new or rekindled with somebody in your life, a romance. And I do feel the energy too of some of you giving your person a chance because you're also coming through here with the temperance energy of one foot in and one foot out here. We see the emotional balance and I do feel that is the give and take emotionally. And I also feel that is you not feeling particularly safe in this connection and that coming through with the cycles quite strong here so not entirely trusting of your person is what I want to say yeah I do feel like there's going to need to be quite a lot of work however if you are planning to give your person another chance the magician card is here you're wanting this with your person we also see here in the floral laurel wreath excuse me that that is a reunion and that is everything but here's also part of what I'm feeling is that that needs to be communicated. There are elements missing in this partnership. It has been very imbalanced. And that's something that you're need, gonna need to be clear about with your person and yourself. Being honest with yourself is coming through really strong here about what can your person give? What do you want? What can your person give? What can you have together for a restart? And if you need to move on, continue moving on or go ahead and start over somewhere else. That, that really is a decision for you. You have free will. 
Your life is yours, not mine, not a tarot reading, but it's very strong here that your person is coming back, I feel, again, and you're going to need to be very clear, most of all with yourself, very honest with yourself here, guys. If you're not honest with yourself, how can you know what it is you need from your person? What do you need, want, deserve? You know what you deserve. You deserve it all. We all do. So that's going to be different for everybody. I'm going to get a little bit of clarity here. Excuse me. Okay. Um, what I would like to clarify here is this particular energy, the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Kind of injunction. I do feel that this is your block here with your person feeling the loss, possibly moving on. I would like to get a mo little more clarity on that particular situation. Here we go. Wow, guys, the eight of discs, that is the eight of pentacles, Virgo energy. Yeah, this is a lot of what I was feeling and we're seeing it here that you were doing a lot of work on this partnership, partly why you have your boundaries up here. Not entirely sure. We see here, there the two of you are. This is the question I also have for you. There is one pentacle here being worked on. I do feel that that you were working um, really... Uh, working is <laughs> maybe not the right word I want to say, but you were giving more to the partnership and that's partly why you're not sure you can trust your person here. We also see right here on the tree, you have one, two, three, four, five of the other pentacles here. That is about the change um, that also is going on now here. You not being entirely sure you're conflicted and that is also coming through with the five pentacles right here on the tree. Why are they on the tree here? Because that is representing the roots, the past you have with this person. I feel for many of you, this has been something for going on for a long time. And I do feel this spiritual connection between you. We see that here with the magician card. We also see the change here. You not being sure. Why are you conflicted? Because I feel you want this future for yourself. You also want this future with your person, a lot of you. It's very conflicting, but you're also knowing your worth and knowing what you deserve and not sure, entirely sure, you're trusting this partnership here, guys. You see right up here, these cobwebs. There's a spider up here on that tree. I do feel you've been waiting on your person for a long time. And the cycling and the commitment, a little bit of fear of commitment too, I feel. Maybe also some commitment elsewhere. Oh, there's that throat chakra again. Do you hear that? Wow. Okay. Either way, we see here it's it's quick. So it can be some of you have put something out to people you know, social media, or you've expressed it to your person already about what it is they need to do or step up to or you're gone. Why? Because we see it's very quick, your person coming in here very quickly. They haven't even fastened the harness yet. That also telling us here that they were not careful in the connection. We see that here, the imbalance. We also see that your person was not well tying up the loose ends, I want to say. A lot of you waiting for that particular commitment and it can it's we're talking future here everything wanting it all whatever that is for you it really is different for everyone it doesn't always involve children or houses or whatever it can be an animal moving in together moving to another place another state another city another country whatever that is you've been waiting a long time so you are in decision mode here big time and i do feel that is a very um, not a not surprising clarifier card. You can see this is sticking out. Interestingly enough, I was wanting to come over here and clarify this particular um, combination here of your person being a little bit flippant, jumping on that horse, holding that pentacle saying, here, no, no, I'm still here. I really want this. But there is still that block there. We see with that sunflower not getting any sun. And I do feel... As I said, that the block, it's not so much a block as it is boundaries, is you. Let's see what is happening here. Look at that. And as I said it, what did we get? We got the nine of wands again. You. That's exactly what I felt. It's exactly what has come through. You're not really sure here, guys. Look how conflicted you are. 
you have somebody moving through here, very vulnerable, very vulnerable in the very front, moving toward things coming to fruition. That is the nine guys and not quite sure what it is you want. You have all, look at all the shadows here behind, kind of lower, 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 higher. Also that feeling for some of you of that eight of cups of wanting to move on just being very conflicted we see the we see that conflicting energy here in this particular nine of wands and i do know that this is you i felt that this was you and it's what got clarified here so i do feel you're not really sure you're going to need to be clear with yourself this conflicting energy that i feel is more about you really needing to go inward guys and deciding what it is you want for the future, what you want to wait for, what you don't want to wait for, what you feel you can make happen either with your person or with somebody new here, knowing your worth, knowing what it is that you want, what you can have with your person, what you can't or what you might never get and may need to move on. That is going to be different for everyone. Okay, guys, um, I want to get a little bit of Oracle here today. We are looking at um, this particular oracle deck today angels and ancestors thank you spirit guides angels and ancestors okay did you see that wow wow this is very goosebumpy your reading pile one look what it just flipped right over up right next to i'm very goosebumpy and very chilled right now to the bone this is about you pile one and what it is you want for yourself and your future just talked about that, unlocking, figuring out what it is you want. Here it is. Look at that. Unlock the magic within, the magic guardian. Look at that. The angel wings, they're there to help you guys and decide. Tapping into your magician here. This is really, wow. It really very, very, very much is um, a strong message for you to figure out what it is you want. You can have it. What do you want? Do you, do you want to continue with your person here? Do you want to move on? I do feel that moving on energy strong, but I also feel you still here very conflicted as we see here. You do have your boundaries up. And as I said, your person has had one foot in and one foot out, and that's part of the problem. But I see here some of you do too. And I love this for you guys. Magic guardian, unlock the magic within. This is a very special message for you pile one i really love this for you i'm moving your nine of pentacles here why because the nine of pentacles i have to tell you is and it's much much clearer now here as well this is virgo energy this is also you having what you want guys you see here this bird a couple of things in this particular bird you're feeling quite good about yourself it's the first thing i want to tell you also when birds are coming in it is about making your heart lighter and getting closer to the divine and listening for messages. And that's another thing. This overall energy is also the divine sending you messages here. It's super strong, guys. Um, really listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust yourself. Your gut instinct. Those are your guardian angels. Wow. That's very goosebumpy because I do feel your person coming. Yet now we have your angels and your ancestors sending you messages to trust yourself, guys. You can have the future that it is that you want. And we see that with the Nine of Pentacles. This really is the abundance here coming through and enjoying it as well. I do feel you still here in the connection, but I do feel your hope underneath it for a promising future. For yourself in particular, this is a love reading, Pile One, and that we see is yours. I love that for you. So you trust yourself, you do what you need to do here, okay? All right, guys, um, what am I doing? <laughs> I want to get also, look what I have here, animal spirit cards that we're going to um, pull from. And this is what I had put on it today. It's the elephant look it's upturned trunk here good luck also a sign of fertility can be in what you think but also i want to say in particular guys a fresh ground here a ground for growing that is the nine of pentacles also the ten of pentacles the pen growing pentacles as we say um guys really i love this for you this is also jade that in particular is a heart chakra 
unblocker, guys. Love that for you. And really pretty much everyone is coming through here extra strong. I want to tell you Capricorn energy, but gosh, you guys, unblocking that blocked heart chakra here. The other thing about elephants, pushing their way through boundaries here. Very loyal. They also have great memories. I do feel there is that thing here and this connection that might cause you to move on whatever it is you're going to do but i love this for you let's we're going to keep it here in the reading and let's take a look and see what is coming down thank you spirit guides angels and ancestors all right wow we have the swans here now i don't feel like i need to say very much if you're a regular watcher if you're not um i'll tell you i normally do have my double swans down as you know, that is the a very strong connection in my readings. They do represent twin flames and soulmates. Look, there are two in particular here. Guys, I want to say to you, is your person your twin flame? If, if you're here and you're on a twin flame journey, then you know that they are. Is your person your soulmate? Or do you feel you're still looking? Because it's I really feel... I feel your energies here, guys. I feel this energy for some of you of really wanting this start, to, this restart with your person, but definitely needing a whole new, a whole new something from them because they have not been committed in this connection. And I do feel the cycling, but there are others here that are leaving and are starting new with somebody else here. Gosh, you guys. And there it is. This is more confirmation in this particular reading and how it's resonating for you, whether your person is here today in this connection or this is the search that you're on. It is for you. The love is there for you, however you decide. And if you do decide to go with your person, remember to trust your gut instinct, your guardian angels. They're here, guys. Look at that. You hold the key to your future, the magic. It's it's yours. You not mine, not anybody else's. You have free will. Please remember that. And in your life, also, of course, in a tarot reading, you have free will. It's not up to me. It's not up to the cards here. But I do love this for you. So if you feel that you're going to get what it is you want from your person, you go for it. You make that happen for yourself. If you feel you're not and you want to find it, you go for it and you make that happen for yourself. Okay, I love this for you. Let's get one more and then we're going to get a couple of chakra cards and move on to song and love messages. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Well, you got two. <laughs> That's how that wanted to be. Interesting. What do you want to see here? There's a tarantula. First thing, where is that cobweb? It's there. Now, there's a lot I, I would um, want to say to you here about this tarantula, but today, do you know what this tarantula is about? Today, this tarantula is about the Eight of Pentacles here, the work that you are doing, the conflicting energy here of whether you're staying or going, guys. And it's very strong, and look what it came down with, of all things, an octopus here, guys. An octopus. Why is an octopus here? Well, this is Gaia energy. I have to tell you, this is also here. Let's look at this particular one. One, two, they should have eight tentacles. I, I'm not going to count here, but I want to tell you octopuses do have eight tentacles. Generally, those are, that's Gaia energy. Eight is a lucky number. Eight is also an action number. It's movement here. I do feel your person is coming here on the move. But what I'm feeling here with the tarantula and the octopus of all combinations here, in particular for your reading, that that is part of the conflicting energy. We see the roots here, part of the future. Now it can include children, but it can also include the new start and what it is that you're wanting for yourself. Can your person give that to you? Will your person give that to you? Were they? Did they take it away? Did they promise it and not offer it? Because there are some commitment issues here. And that is what is coming down in these particular two cards is the tarantula in connection to the spider web of waiting here. And spider webs too can weave intricate, intricate, <laughs> why can't I say that word today? Intricate, intricate webs, excuse me. I do feel that cycling, so that might be part of it as well, but you've been waiting a long time. I'm gonna leave it at that today. There's a lot I could say about a tarantula, but that is where 
that is where it is today. That's the reading, guys. Um, not the reading, excuse me. That is the message here. And with the octopus in particular, they, they go very deep, as you know, the bottom of the ocean. Um, they do come up, but it's quite the quite special is what I want to say here. Maybe not special being the word, the word, the word I want to use, but a moment. And with the octopus too, they are very much associated with the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, also the water sign, as you know, and that Gaia energy. So that new start, whether your person can give it to you or not, and if they can't, I do feel you're looking. You may have already started something or this isn't a, lo a lovely message for you. Okay, I love that. I'm putting it here with the swans and I am going to put the um, tarantula here in particular because of the spider web, guys. Hello. Okay, um, we're going to move on now. I'm going to get a couple of chakra cards then we're going to move on to love and song messages and move on to my pile two here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What would you like to send down for pile one? Interesting mysticism coming down here from your chakra deck, guys. Well, we know this is very much associated with the magician card. Also, I do want to say to you a little bit of that high priestess energy coming in. I really feel this is a lot about what's going on in your life now, really needing to well, trust also coming through here, not just your person, but messages from the divine, trusting yourself, trusting your intuition, trusting your gut instinct, your guardian angels, the divine, the messages you feel coming in, in relation to what it is you're going to do. And I'm going to put it up here because I do feel this is about this partnership and the boundaries you have and whether you're moving on without your person or continuing here with a particular set of demands is the wrong word, <laughs> but of needs that need to be met. And that's, that's how it should be, guys. It's how it should be. Okay, we're going to move on to channeled love messages. Direct messages to you from your person can also be, excuse me, that you feel you're sending the messages yourself. Go with what resonates for you, pile one. All right. I don't deserve you, but I want you. That's a very that's a very appropriate card for this reading. It really is. I'm not going to say any more because that is really the energy here. I see this one look wanting to We are fated connection. Is this your person sending this down? I do believe they are and look it's wanting to be here with the magician card. Fated connections, I want to say to you guys. It doesn't mean when this comes down or the world card comes in or I, I feel the, the faded connection or I feel the twin flame soulmate energy. It doesn't mean, okay, this is a twin flame soulmate journey. You're going to be together now and forever. That is a forever love. But that that is somebody coming in. Fate is when somebody is coming in and they're coming in for a reason. Your person has come in for a reason and they're coming back again for another reason that can be to, to um, get catapult you to the next thing, whether it's uh, without them, or catapult you together to the next thing together on a whole different journey here, really reworking everything. It's going to be different for everyone. And sometimes with faded connections, we meet, we move on, we, we don't see them again in this lifetime here. It's just that is fate, and I want to clear that up. It really is a a faded connection is that you met someone for a reason, but it can be for a particular goal, a particular lesson, which is why it's also so strongly associated with the world card, which has made its way into your reading, which does also tell me you're um, spiritually ascending and growing. Some of you can be um, also star seeds and light workers. That's just a given, but it's an extra message coming through today. But also that your person is wanting to communicate with you but even more importantly coming through here wow you're reading is the divine here trying to communicate with you guys i hope i hope you're listening and if you're not please do you are the you are the master of your journey guys you are fate will bring all kinds of situations and people in your life but it also intersects with free will and choices controlling what you can letting go of what you can't our souls are forever connected. Wow. 
Yeah, and it doesn't mean that you don't love your person or that it wasn't loving at one time. It can be that you continue on. It can be that you hold them in a special place in your heart and move on. It's going to be different for everyone, but this, your, your reading is, wow, you are my biggest wish. All right, I'm putting it here. I do feel that when I look at this particular card, I have to say here, guys, that Ace of Pentacles, it does have that feeling there. But are they your biggest wish? Or are they still your biggest wish if you felt they were? It's going to be different for everyone. You are hard to resist. <laughs> yes, you are. Let me just move some of these decks and whatnot that I have here. Can also be some of you sending that here, and that's part of the conflicting energy. You are my soulmate. Gosh, you guys. Wow. Wow. Putting it here with the swans. Is this someone coming in? Is this your person? Who's saying this? This is all part of this amazing reading. However that resonates for you. Two have come down. There's that duality. There's some more of that spiritual connection here, guys. Also telling me of the imbalance. Let's see what is going on here. We see that. We see the one foot in, one foot out for your person that was ongoing and you now thinking about you. Look, I messed up so bad. Yeah, they did. And I'm putting it here with the nine of wands, the tarantula, the eight of discs, the eight of cups. Gosh, you guys, a lot of echoing to nine of wands, nine of wands, eight of discs, eight of cups, nine, excuse me, nine of wands, nine of pentacles. It's just, wow, the magician, magic guardian. A lot of echoing here, really strong messages for you from spirit. Thinking about you. We do see that, and I do feel that here with that Page of Pentacles. Okay, last chance. At night I talk to you, hoping you receive my messages. Telepathic messages going on there, guys. Whew, you're reading Pile 1. More channeled song messages deck. These are direct messages to you through song. Now, it can be that your song comes down. A particular song of relevance for the person you've come here for can also be songs of relevance for you. And your connection to the divine, to the angels, is very strong today. So you take things as they resonate for you. It can be that messages are embedded, and I don't even know. <laughs> Names, locations, a line, initials, and a particular artist can also be quite obvious things, expressing regret, um, longing for that sort of thing. And it can be you sending it as well. So go with what resonates for you. Flyer right by the Magician card. Memories light the corners of my mind. Misty watercolor memories of the way we were. The way we were, Barbara Streisand. Can it be for some of you too that that was everything for you at one time? And that's partly why this is so painful, this cycling here. It's a little flyer. If I had the choice of only one friend in this world, you know that I'd want it to be you. I'd want it to be you. Barbara Streisand and Willie Nelson, written by Steve Dorse, Dorf, excuse me, Jay Landers, and Bobby Tumberland. What I want to tell you, this is um, being pushed off, but what I want to tell you about this is Barbara Streisand and Willie Nelson. Maybe I'm dating myself here, <laughs> but they are an unlikely combination, very much. Kind of like when Lady Gaga was pairing up with... Um, Oh gosh, how could I forget his name now? Oh, driving me crazy. One of the greats. Anyway, um, it's that sort of pairing. It's unlikely here too. So I do feel that this particular pairing or it could be one starting up or that you're looking for that's coming to you here also for some of you is one you weren't expecting. An unlikely pairing here, guys. I'd want it to be you if I had the choice of only one friend in this world. Also that friendship coming through here quite strong. I'm going to set it here with the nine of wands. Can it be your person? Yes. Can it be somebody here coming in? Yes. Can it be you sending it? Yes. It really is about what resonates for you guys, but I don't know. It just wants to be there. You're simply the best, better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone I ever met, the best, Tina Turner. Gosh, you guys, where do I even put things? Now it's happening. <laughs> now things are being covered. Excuse me. Oh. To, okay, now I thought I, I thought I pushed one back. When you came my way, you brightened every day with your sweet smile. Excuse me, Sade, ordinary love. 
Okay, I'm putting it here. It can also be about you reminiscing from in the past here, guys. But I do feel for some of you too, that's your person sending that through. And that's also a song for some of you that is going to resonate. I keep, look, I keep crying. I keep trying for you. There's nothing like you and I, baby. Sade, ordinary love. Wow, guys, it's come down twice and look, a space for it both here. That can be a lot of that conflicting energy here. And also what your person is coming here with a message to say. Okay, that was me dropping <laughs> basically the entire deck. I know your image of me isn't what I hope to be. I treated you unkindly. But darling, can't you see? There's no one more important to me. Baby, can't you see me through? A song for you, Leon Russell. As I channel your message, it's actually Leon Russell's birthday. So happy birthday, Leon Russell. Emmy Lou Harris as well. I believe he's 70. Or is it 77? Can be that your person or you are musicians here. Um, can also simply be that, well, this is the message for you, your person realizing a lot of what they've done wrong here and also why you have your boundaries up, which we are very clear has happened here. Okay. Someday, somewhere, we'll find a new way of living. We'll find a new way of forgiving somewhere. Barbara Streisand, can it be for some of you that you are moving on and you're feeling like you're kind of putting a pin in it? Maybe... Either way, here, your person are expressing that regret. And I don't know that, that some are totally aware of everything. Coming here kind of flippantly, as I said. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Love. The Beatles. All you need is love. Look at that. I'm putting that here with your swan cards. Okay, last chance. Here it is. A winding road. A heavy load. It's nothing new to see. We know that through the bad times. I'll have you and you'll have me. Aretha Franklin united together. Interesting. I do feel this very deep spiritual connection here, guys. Whether you move on or not can also be that this is somebody new here. But I do feel for a lot of you, this is your person here. Whether you move on or not, you can still have this love for someone, you know, and move on with your life and wish them well or hope that you come back later. Um, maybe they need, maybe you need more time, other experiences. I do feel that for some of you with this energy of the page, not for everyone, that they need more time. Um, but yeah, that's a particular message that is not for everyone. Okay, guys, we're going to look at the very end of the reading, the Tarot Closet Love Messages. Direct messages to you, channeled love messages. If you feel you're sending them, please go with that. Don't give up on us. As I do feel that one foot in, one foot out. Now it's covered. Look at that. The temperance card has been covered. I want to just um, quickly say that that particular energy that does come through, it does come through for some of you. I don't think it's everyone here, but that page of pentacles of being, when I say not knowing what they did, I just feel like some immaturity and inexperience here. I don't feel that as everyone because I do feel that the, the commitment issues here and the cycling, maybe some games for some of you as well. There is lo this love here and I feel this conflicting energy, but you love yourself enough to do what is right for you. Okay, pile one, because spirit also came through here for you with messages. You are the love of my life. Wow, somebody here really trying to win you over. Is this somebody new? Interesting, and it wants to be right there in the middle of the magician cards. You are my biggest wish. We saw that already, guys. I'm gonna put it there. Look, it got covered. That got covered a little. It's two here. My world changed when I met you. Please forgive me. Yeah, that feels big. I'm putting that with the tarantula card. That really does feel like this is associated with that eight of discs here you working away conflicted not sure something that got interrupted here in this commitment in regard to your person that spider web we can no longer see okay last chance you are my other half all right guys that is the end of the reading here now i do want to say to you you may 
may or may not be on a twin flame soulmate journey, but if you are, you are. You are definitely here. Your twin is here. Your soulmate is here. And if you're not, guys, somebody is acknowledging that. Can it be somebody new? Maybe, because that's super strong here in this reading. But your person's energy you came here is also very strong. That's your reading, Pile 1. Bye. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. We are shuffled and ready to go, so we're just going to get started. Now we're going to begin by getting an overall energy card for you today for the connection and the person you have come here for. Excuse me, that was loud. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit Guides. Wow, one just went flying and flipped back in. Hmm. I don't think I can find it, but this did come out, so this is the overall energy card today. It is the Wheel of Fortune. Interesting here. Right off the bat, I want to tell you Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo are here. Everybody's here, but those are particularly strong energies. Also, the Wheel of Fortune, things are changing here in this connection. Let's get started. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, the Hierophant being the very first card coming down in your reading pile, too. Okay, we have a couple here that are wanting to be in the reading. Look right here in your second placement. This is your partnership placement, guys, is the Justice card. Libra energy, and I have to tell you right off the bat, Twin Flame Soulmate energy. Regardless of whatever journey you are on, you have chosen Pile 2, this deep connection, whatever you call it or don't call it, it is here. It's right in your partnership placement. What is going on with this connection here? Is this imbalance in this partnership changing? It looks very much like it is. Also, that Hierophant energy is very interesting to have come down. That is Taurus energy. Can be that there are other people involved. Also, somebody is getting some good advice too. Let's see. We have this wanting to be in. Interesting. Seven of Swords. Wasn't expecting to see that, but that's how that goes. That's Aquarius energy. Somebody here has been the runner. Gosh, you guys, look at this. Look what is right on each side of the Wheel of Fortune. The Justice card and the Seven of Swords. This is telling us there was some conflicting energy here in this partnership. Also, this is about the past, about something that your person has done, something your person um, maybe wasn't telling you the truth about. It could be that they're still not telling you the truth, but are going to be telling you the truth. Look at this, this Wheel of Fortune right in the middle here. This is about the past here, guys, and I do want to say to you, we see those two swords there. They're looking back. Your person hasn't left this connection. They're still there, but gosh, what is this, what is this change going to be? Let's keep going. Pile two. Pile two. The Empress card here. Wow. All right. Well, can be for some of you. Well, I also wanted to tell you, I do feel that your person here was leaving, um, ghosting you here, running away. Could be for those of you on a twin flame journey, your person is, was, is, still is um, the runner here. That's not going to be for everyone. But look at that Empress energy. You're right here next to these swords. This is you, pile two. Wow, wow. I think your person has some, a lot, not just some, a lot of regret here for what happened between you. Apologies, big time going to need to be made here in a very big way for this rebalancing here. There's something you really need from your person here in relation to this past energy of the Seven of Swords. And I want to tell you that that sword energy is transactional as well. Your person wanting to give that clarity. In fact, you're going to need that clarity in order to grow together, which we also see here. Some of you, it can be that you were a, were, are, excuse me, um, a parent with this person. That won't be for everyone. This can come through with parenting and babies, but I want to tell you, I don't generally go there in these readings. However, what also comes through with the Empress, and sometimes it's stronger energy than other times, it's very strong energy here, fertile grounds of new beginnings. And we see that like a completely new beginning. And I do have to say it can be for some of you too, this did involve family. It can also be differences in culture, religion, long distance here. 
And what a weird thing to come through, but I feel like for a very for a very particular person, what has come through. Here's the lover's card, by the way. Gemini energy. Look at that. Yeah, someone got in the way of that here. It's almost like this is what I wanted to say. For it's partic very particular, guys, but it's coming through. Somebody might have it had to do with marriage and the altar. Okay, I want it, I just want to leave it at that. That did come through. But also here, seeing the lover's card, Gemini energy coming down right below the Hierophant card. I do feel that this was, this particular energy is being cleared now and realized and changed. It can be that it got in, involved here in your partnership, guys. Something here, other people can be family, can also be about the differences in your backgrounds here. Culture, distance, um, religion, that sort of thing. But the other thing I want to say, too, that's very tied to the Hierophant, that energy I'm getting today, is it can also be about wh where it was that you were going and somebody getting a little spooked here. And I see that also coming through with the Empress card. Interesting. Gemini energy here, guys. And the Lover's card is some more of that Twin Flame Soulmate energy for those of you that need that validation. It's there. Okay, look. This is wanting to be in the reading today, and look what's right below it. The Ten of Cups. There is that ten. Interesting. The new beginnings. New cycle. These are the cups, too. And guys, this is not surprising. First of all, very emotional. Secondly, there is that rainbow. Somebody's still having hope for this outcome. And here's the other thing I want to tell you. That family energy is super strong here. It's so strong here, guys that potentially some were involved, but also this feeling of something interrupted here. Gosh, look at that. The Ten of Cups and the Empress specifically and the Hierophant card. And I wanna tell you again, when children or babies make their way in my reading, that is about new beginnings. There are two here. That is also telling me what we see here, excuse me, in the Lover's card, that you guys need to agree on something. There's something here I feel like you're not agreeing on. now. Boy, that throat chakra is really strong today. A, a really big unblocking here. It's also with pile one. So that is going on in this energy. But that lover's card energy can be about people needing to, the two of you, needing to, to make a decision together. I feel like this is too about, this is for the two of you about agreeing on something. Also agreeing to let something stay in the past, let something go. That's coming through very strong here, guys, with the six of needing to make peace um, about something here. And it can be also involving other family. Yeah, it's really strong. Can be what you what was family for you with your person, but also family of origin is coming through strong. Look, this is sticking its way off. Look at that. Right below the seven of swords. Yeah. Guys, this is the Three of Swords, as we know, Libra. Now, wow, guys, heartbreak. We know that about the Three of Swords. Um, some sadness here over what happened. And what is that third sword? What is that third party? It can be another person, guys, but it can also be, in my readings, there's a lot of things going on here. Three is a symbol for divine timing. It's also about, as we know, third parties, but that's not always another person. That can also be telling us the act here, the running away, the dishonesty about something here, the possible involvement of other people interrupting it and needing to decide. But here it is. Here it is. That needs to be, if you're going to have a new start and grow with your person here, and your person knows that. This isn't a particular corner of my readings that can be considered, I know, um, the naughty corner in some ways. And I do feel like your person is aware of that. Also here with the overall energy, I don't, I don't feel in particular that they're rushing in with, with explanations, but I do feel that energy here with the swords, that is transactional energy and some clarity needed. I feel like um, the main thing here that's going on, and we will get some we will get some um, clarifiers today. I have a lot of decks here, <laughs> pile two waiting to come into the reading. But this is more about the, the overall change that's going to need to happen if you guys are going to have a new start. It's really symbolic of everything. Um, a real turning point in this partnership. I do feel that happening here um, very much. And it can be your person is letting go of some 
gosh, some expectations that somebody had of them or somebody that kind of had a hold on them that got involved here. Um, if you're going to have this new start, it is that wheel is going to need to turn. And we see that it is turning. And again, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, super strong, but everybody's here. Cancer, Pisces as well. Gemini, um, excuse me, Gemini, Libra. Also Capricorn, Virgo here. Aries, Sagittarius. Everybody is here. And again, we have Libra here, the Seven of Swords. We have Aquarius there again. I also feel very much with, with the Empress card, I always feel Aries there um, in particular, but um, we also have the Hierophant, the Taurus energy here, guys. We have more Libra energy here. We have the Ten of Cups there, that is Pisces energy, and we have the Gemini Lovers card. Let's get this last card look. It's sitting here wanting to be in your reading, and I want to start getting some clarifiers. Say, so, yeah, look. This is the Two of Swords. Wow. Wow, guys. It's about a, the decision here. We also see it here. There needs to be an agreement. It can be for some of you, you're deciding to go, but I don't feel that. I really don't. What I'm feeling here is that there's you got you really need to communicate and it needs to be cleared. You need to decide together about leaving something behind. It can be particular people in your lives that have interfered. It can be agreeing on locations, futures, other people, something here really strong that you need to agree on, guys. It's very strong. Again, the Twin Flame Soulmate energy is strong. Whatever journey you are or aren't, aren't on, so please take what's for you. Let the rest go. But here, look, there's a blindfold. And what's interesting, my initial reaction to this is both of you. And also here... I feel like, interestingly enough, that this is this is something that needs to come off your person. Isn't that interesting? In order, they need to own up to this here, guys. You guys need to have a discussion about it and work through it. Quite literally, um, taking off that blindfold, putting those swords down. There's that conflicting energy. And that's also transactional and clarity. And discuss and have some real clarity about what needs to be, what you need to talk about, what you need to do, and the steps you're going to take if these wheels are going to turn. And that's what I wanted to say, that emotional energy. It feels very emotional. But I do feel that somebody here has a blindfold on. Now, that can be you. And that would be, a lot of times, That would that's how it will come into a reading for me. But I feel like it's your person here. Um, kind of like if you want to continue on here, with this Empress energy, if you want to grow this partnership from a really brand new ground here, because this is about fertility. Again, as I said, it can be babies and children, but they also represent new growth. They also rep represent, excuse me, new beginnings. We have that also in the Empress card and the Ten of Cups. That is new beginnings, and that is about the partnership, the everything. I do feel like it involves other people, but that is about what is what is that future looking like for the two of you? What is that family? Is that animals, an apartment, moving somewhere, whatever that is here. But in order to grow, in order for this wheel to turn and for things to grow here together, there's something that needs to be talked about. And this decision that we see here, I feel like is in a decision between the two of you with the lover's card. More about agreeing about something is what it feels like um, in your reading today. Okay, we're going to get a little bit of clar clarifying here going. Today, guys, we're shuffled and ready to go. Can you tell us more, excuse me, about the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords is what I would like to know. If you would like to give us some clarity also here in this general area, that would be wonderful if that is in fact what you want to send down. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. These two bolts sticking to my hand, so let's take a look here. Prince of Wands, interesting. This is that princess, prince, princess, excuse me, princess, prince, charming energy coming in. Yeah, guys, this is what I want to say to you. If this is going to be about a new start together, and also when I say proposals, it can be marriage, okay? And um, really, it's a complete new start. We do see the Empress card here, but it can also be simply about that new beginning. And it can be somebody here is 
kind of flying in, I want to say to you. This is very strong, more very strong Scorpio energy. Libra is also coming through for me. And I have to say, um, with that fire, it's just very strong with Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. It's not this particular energy, but that is coming through today. Look at that fire burning in the background there. That was caused by this, and this is what I wanted the clarity on. And that's exactly what we're getting here. If you're going to have this new start, and especially if your person might be coming, which it could be as we see this coming down with this clarity coming here with this wheel turning saying, I want, let's have a whole new start. I've let this go, or I've decided this. I'm, I'm realizing what has happened here because we have, again, the Justice card on one side, the Seven of Swords on the other, right below the Three of Swords. That fire needs to get put out. The fire needs to get put out. Now, I do want to say also, it, it is that very fiery energy. This is not an Aries Leo Sagittarius card, but that's coming through really super strong here. Very passionate connection. So it can be also that that side of your partnership, and whether it's physical or not, or just the feeling, was very, very strong. And that doesn't surprise me because also when you see that sword energy too coming in, to a reading, a no, a no contact and or in separation reading. And if that's not your situation and you're here and you're resonating, then then it's for you. Either way, it can be about when, when things are ending and there's conflict, they, it can be quite big. And that's what I'm feeling here in this connection. It is a very, kind of a very fiery connection here, guys. Interesting. And what is the second card that came down? Who? yeah, the world card here. Um, this is what I want to tell you. It's about the future and the world card. Look, there's some more of that Scorpio energy, Taurus energy, Aquarius and Leo. And again, everybody here, but those are particularly strong energies. If you're looking here, this in the stars type of feeling, this faded connection, that does come through very strong with the world card. And interestingly, that was very, the world card didn't actually come in the reading, but it came in the reading through it came in the reading but not the actual card in pile one so if you want to go check out pile one that might be might be your pile if this is not it could also be your pile as well either way this is a faded connection guys and i do want to say to you with faded connections it doesn't always mean it's faded we're going to be together and live happily ever after we do see here that this is a very strong twin flame soulmate connection here you were fated to meet for some of you that might be for a particular new new beings to bring new beings into the world can also be to complete particular goals and lessons which is what the world card can be about now this can also be about traveling here so it can be that your person is here coming to you and this came down as we're clarifying the seven of swords and the three of swords so it can be that this wheel turning that this wheel is turning for the two of you well that wheel of fortune but as we see the fate here that they might be coming back in for another reason. Now, you're gonna need to trust yourself, trust your own intuition, your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels about the path you wanna take. But this is about the future and this is about this connection, which is faded, which can mean they come in, they come out, can be people coming in one day, they're gone, we don't see them again on this earth. Can be deep loves, soulmates, twin flames. That fate is not just about faded and that's it we're together you know it really is this intersect between fate a faded connection things that are meant to be people you're meant to meet and also making choices it, it connects with free will guys there are things you can and you can't control here so i do feel like things are changing and this is about the future and what it feels like in this particular reading that there's something you guys need to Agree to let go of, um, to control what you can and let go of what you can't. It's a strong message and it feels like it's coming down, interestingly, here for both of you. This is not always the case. In, wow, guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on here and look at some Shaman Stream, <clears throat> excuse me, Oracle cards. I did put down the black um, tourmaline, which I haven't put down in a really long time. And this is about clearing negative energy in all aspects and the connection the people around you negative energy maybe some anxiety that you might be having here or the other people that might be coming into your life and in particular 
your connection with your person. And I do feel that very strongly. As I said, with the Hierophant card, there is something here. A lot of rebalancing could be about decisions. Um, it, it is about decisions here. This is the Justice card. This is an 11, and that comes to a 2. And we see it also with the Two of Swords. And plus, we know that also with, excuse me, with the Lover's card. But I do feel like it's it has been causing some anxiety. So this is a wonderful... Um, Mineral for you today, and I felt particularly drawn to putting it here on your shuffled and ready to go Shaman's Dream Oracle card. So let's see what is here for you today. This is not particular clarifying. They're just going to come into the reading as they come. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Okay, we have two here. We might get some more. Let's see. And I'm realizing as I talk to you, I might want to get a little clarity in the Hierophant card. So I do feel like that is about particular people in the reading. It can be also that your person is getting some good advice now, but I feel like it's other people, excuse me, um, or something in particular, as I said, differences involved in the connection. But I'm, <laughs> I digress. Let's keep moving forward here. All right, guys, here's another 11. More twin flame soulmate energy. Look, sky bridge possibility for union. Wow. And this is what I want to tell you about this particular card. Here you both are. Look, there is that fire energy, which we saw here. I do feel, um, as we are looking at this card, that your person might be coming in here. Can be also you're going to them. Either way, there is a possibility here, but I do feel the strong, the strong need to control what you can, let go of what you can. A decision you, you guys need to make, and I feel, again, as I said, an agreement here is what it feels like more than anything. And something is being held on to, I see that, um, understandably. Things, this Wheel of Fortune, I do feel like it's turning, there is a possibility. And it does look like somebody might be coming. And again here, do have to say that Libra energy, but also the Aries Leo Sag energy is really particularly strong. And also that fiery connection that we talked about. And that, I do feel like you guys probably came together quite quickly. It could have been in one way and it turned into something else. And if not, it's not the point. It is that type of connection when I almost peeked at this. <laughs> but look at here. If you see this step possibility, why? Because those are burning hot here and there's one missing. So it's quite a big leap to get to this next step to get to what? That's the sun. That is that new beginning, guys. That is the end of a cycle. That is new beginning. That is having a happy outcome. That is the wheel of fortune going around and around like the moon and the sun going, you know, around and around, excuse me. But that sun energy is super strong here, guys. We always say another trip around the sun here. Well, that trip up to the sun, that happy outcome, the, the end of a cycle and that particular energy with the sun. But it doesn't look easy is what I want to say here. There's quite a big step that not just you, but you both need to make together. There it is again. We also see that here in the lover's card. Something you guys need to make, an, you need to agree on something here. Decision you're making, an agreement you're making, whatever that is, it's quite big. It's it's It does feel quite big. And it's quite a leap for somebody here. Take off those blindfolds, put those swords down. Talk about what it is you guys want for the future here. If you're coming back together and how you can grow what you want, what you need to let go of what you need to agree to let go of or agree on for this Ten of Cups future. But guys, this is pretty self-explanatory. A lot of talk here, a um, lot of messages coming through for you, but you can't miss that. And I'm putting it here right with the Lover's card. What is the second one? Look at that. Who? Who? Wow. Okay. Pile two, your reading is wow. Now, <laughs> pile one was pretty wow too. This is really about receiving attainment, fulfillment, I want to tell you, but also things coming to fruition now. Look at that. Repairing the veil. Forgiveness. Guys, that seven of swords energy, that three of swords energy. If you're going to grow together, if you're going to have this new start with this Empress card here, the ten of cups, we see this possibility for union. We see the love between you. We see the wheel of fortune turning. Something, that agreement, that letting go, the discussion, and the forgiveness. It's super strong. And this is what I also wanted to say to you here. The world card. 
is about a fated connection. It's very, very strong, the red thread of fate here, coming together for a reason. As I said, people can come together with strangers we're fated to meet. That can take us to the next thing, the red thread that's invisible that we all have, that connect us to people, that bring people to us. We don't, we just serendipity and deja vu. And you think, oh, I've met this person before. I've had this experience or somebody coming in. Um, synchronicities. I was just thinking about that. Somebody says something that you had thought about that morning and go, wow, there, wow, that person, or you just feel an instant connection. It's that sort of thing going on here. It's quite big. And there's that red thread. One could say that's also a ribbon, which some people do say. And look at that twin flame soulmate energy. However you are, whatever journey you're on, guys, please let it go. If you're, if you're not on a twin flame journey, it does not mean that this reading isn't for you. It is. This is, I just need to acknowledge my twin flames. But you see the energy coming off it. And here's what I want to say, forgiveness. That black tour, um, tourmaline that came into your reading I do feel that that negative energy has been surrounding this partnership and it is being released, guys. And we see it here. Look at that. We also see the fiery energy there. Look, we see the butterfly, the transformation, the change. We see all, look, we see that red thread right there, repairing it. That is what, repairing that here, guys. This connection, this repairing the veil, this whatever it was, that veil, what is that? It can be something over our eyes, like, like a wedding veil. Just going to put that out there. Can be for some of you. This does involve divorce in some way. That is not for everyone. That is coming through her pile too. I just have to, I have to say that. So it can be about repairing that uh, a marriage for some of you, or there was something here in the past. I'm going to leave it at that. But I want to say here, this transformation with your person, we see it. Look at that. The sky bridge, possibility for union, but there's going to need to be forgiveness. And we've already been talking about it. It's here. It's super big, you guys. And there is that red thread repairing that here. On what? What do we see here? It's quite a deep, um, it looks like a tree. Or it can also be a totem pole. Either way, it's deep in the ground here. There is the thread for repairing. There is the transformation. But the only way that is going to happen is with forgiveness here. And these are connected, guys. What is it that you guys need to look at here and complete a particular thing between you? It needs to end now if you're going to have this new start and grow together with this new fertile ground with this Empress energy here and seeing this outcome, the Ten of Cups. It's very emotional. There's that home, that, that really deep spiritual connection is what comes through for me. What's um, also, I want to tell you what's in and what we consciously know, what we subconsciously know. Um, no, but we don't realize also here that is coming through with that two of swords energy, that removing the veil, the forgiveness, the agreement on something to let go, the discussions. Wow. Wow, guys, your reading is wow. That's all I can say here. <laughs> okay, um, actually, I want to put this here, even though that is where uh, I originally had it. It just feels right there. Okay, we're going to look at, I'm going to pull, excuse me, a couple of things going on here. An animal spirit, card or two, whatever wants to come down. Also, I chose for you, felt very drawn to bringing down the amethyst turtle. First of all, turtle is a Scorpio, so that energy is coming through. The amethyst is Aquarius, but also coming through is more Scorpio, Cancer, excuse me, and Capricorn, but also here some Pisces energy. Um, super strong coming through here and Aries and well it's a turtle can it be that somebody here has been moving at a turtle pace land turtle pace can it be that they're picking up the speed with a water turtle maybe maybe guys and that wisdom of the oracle card does come into view for me that turtle carrying that big treasure chest the treasure island with the love with the possibilities of new beginnings there that is coming through interesting that that is what i chose it wants to be in your reading guys looking right here at the three of swords and yeah that possibility for union that is coming through with the turtle so let's see what wants to come down thank you spirit guides angels and ancestors okay all right guys the cobra has come into your reading. Very interesting. My first reaction to the cobra card, it's very strong actually that I'm feeling, is this connection to the Hierophant energy. I do feel there is somebody either in your person's life or your life who has come in 
to help repair this connection. Interesting. So for some of you, it can be something to do with your religion, your, with, excuse me, your culture or family here. But this is also here for you, Pile 2, and it really is about, well, it's kind of like when you're ready to learn the teacher appears type of energy here. So I feel like also this feels really connected to, to your person. I do feel that for you as well. Some guidance for you from spirit, from the divine, from your angels coming in to help guide you too here. But I also feel this from your person. It's a really interesting energy connected to the higher font. And I do feel that it's I do feel other people have been involved, as I said, but I also do feel that guidance from the Hierophant as I felt early on with your person here, and that, that is coming through strongly. I also do want to say here, it can be about rebalancing, and it's interesting that it's feeling very drawn here in this particular energy as well, because we see the imbalance here. So I do think your person might have been quite egotistical as well. I do feel like that is... Well, I want to say melting away in some strange way. And I realize as I'm saying it, the reason I'm feeling that is the fiery energy here in particular. And I don't have my Wisdom of the Oracle deck so close. I might try to go get it. Let's get one more here. But I am seeing that regeneration card of that ending and that the ember's still burning here and the regeneration of new beginnings and things growing. We see that new beginning with the Wheel of Fortune and we also know here with the Empress, that fertile ground as we talked about, the new starts. And the regeneration card really being flashed before me of things having been really... On, kind of on fire, but it feels like it's sort of embers now, getting ready to go out and st start over here. I'm going to grab the deck in just a moment, but let's get one more Animal Spirit card here. Okay, there we go. Interesting look. Wow, this does not surprise me. Guys, a couple of things I want to say to you. The fire ant, first of all, that fire energy is very, very strong. And it can be here, you see all these ants. I do feel this super strong. I really have to get the wisdom of the Oracle deck here, guys. I do feel this strong energy of other people. It can be that the this energy I'm feeling with the Hierophant and the Cobra, the imbalance here, is that fiery energy of other people, maybe getting involved in the connection, talking here. It's That's a release now. It really is time for that to be released. And I do feel like that's a big part of this connection, a really, really big part of this connection. And I feel very anxious myself right now because I would really like to get the wisdom of the Oracle. Just one moment. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and pull one card. It can be that it comes. It can be that it doesn't. And there's something else here for us today. Okay, thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Here we go. This is what... <laughs> Did you guys see that? Wow. Pile two, your reading is extremely goosebumpy. Look at this. It did come. It did come. Wow. Um, I'm just very, very goosebumpy and chilled here to the bone. I'm just not surprised by this. Guys, that is the regeneration card that I thought might come and it came. That is a 10. That is the end of a cycle. We know that after the fire, the ember's still burning. That is a new beginning for you. Look. There is the tree of life with the heart chakra, with the throat chakra, communicating here, guys, agreeing on something here to do with this love, opening up that heart chakra, blocking that negative energy. I feel like it's other people. It's so strong here. Also, whatever it was that went on here, guys, communicating, forgiving, letting that go, rebuilding, somebody taking that blindfold off if you're going to have a new start. Pile two. Pile two, you're reading here. Skybridge, possibility for a union. We saw that regeneration card, the fire ant, even the cobra in some ways. And we saw that beginning here in particular when the Prince Wands came, came down, which I would um, beg to say to you that it's Prince, Princess. There is no gender in tarot. There are feminine, masculine energies, but there is no gender. I want to be clear about that. But we also talked about the fiery energy here. We've been talking about it. And we talked about the regeneration card. There it is. There is a possibility for union here, guys. Big time. Big time. But we see here uh, a lot of communication, a lot of forgiveness, letting something go, and maybe possibly particular energies or people, negativity that has been, I feel like, heavy on this partnership. Wow, pile two. Wow. Okay. 
um, guys, I'm gonna set it right there. There it goes. We're going to move on now to channel love messages. These are direct messages to you from your person. Can also be you sending the messages. Please take what is for you, how it resonates for you, excuse me. Wow, these both kind of got sticky in my hand. They came together. That decision, guys, thinking of you gets me through. I am so sorry. Look, yeah, big time. Who, and I'm putting this here, between the world card and the prince wands. Gosh, you guys, could it be for some of you, your person is in a particular situation in their lives too? It can be. Won't be for everybody. It can also be you, but that did come through for someone. And you know what? This just flew, but these two also wanted to be out. My heart still beats for you. Yeah, we know that. That is just super duper strong. I'm going to put this here, and I want to put this here. The Lover's Card and the Ten of Cups. We are soulmates, I know. Wow, guys. Yeah. I, I almost want to cry here. The Twin Flame Soulmate energy is super strong. Whatever journey you're on, if you're not, the connection between you, the spiritual journey, that's what I want to say, okay? It's really strong here, guys. Your person may not know Twin Flames if you're on that journey. Maybe you're not on that journey. You know your soulmates. Maybe you don't. Either way, somebody's feeling that energy here. Is that you? I feel like it's your person here, but look at your reading. Pile two. Wow. Believe it. I love you. I just feel, when I say that I feel emotional, <laughs> and I want to cry because I'm feeling that strongly here, it's not tears of sadness. It's this it's a release. It's this emotional release, this wheel turning. It's tears of kind of joy here. I'm just going to leave it at that. It's intense. Wow. I need to collect myself. Okay. More channeled love messages. Then we're going to get some channeled song messages for you. I listened to our song on repeat. As I say that, yeah, your person's really wanting me to get on the songs, but we're going to fit finish here. What is that song, you guys? Could it be? It's coming down today. Maybe. Maybe. But wow. Wow. Um, the synchronicities in your reading as well. It's intense. I'm getting it together so you can be mine. There is that Prince Wands energy. Again, Prince, Princess, whatever that is for you. Look at this, how they all lined up. The Black Tourmaline, the, uh, excuse me, the, the Amethyst Turtle, the little Scorpio Aquarius there. <laughs> Scorpio, what is that? Well, I would say Scorpio Sun, Aquarius um, Rising more likely. And for the moon here, guys, can be quite a few things going on here. Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Capricorn. Interesting how that happened. I'm getting it together so you can be mine. Wants to be here with the Ten of Cups and the World card. All right. Last chance. Okay. These two have is it two or three. Three. All right. That is my sign for divine timing. They came down together. Let's look at them in the order here. I cannot sleep since you've gone. That is that Gemini energy coming through. Putting it here with the Libra energy. Could put it here with the Gemini, but it just feels like it wants to be there. You know I still want you. Putting that here with the fire ants and the sky balance. No, I'm not over you. That is not surprising. I want to put that here with the regeneration card and the Empress. All right, guys, we're going to look at more channeled song messages. Your person is really wanting these to come down. Wow. Okay. Can be that your song, your song, your person's song, the one they're listening to on repeat here, it could be that it's here, can also be a song of relevance for you, can also be a particular message, one that's in bed that it's something I won't even know name, a location, a particular line, can also be their expressions here of love, remorse, coming together, whatever that is. And if you feel like these are your songs or something here you're sending, then you send that, whether you want to send it now telepathically, you want to say it out loud to them, you want to write it down, whatever that is. And some of you will just know, okay? That is a big old flyer. I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want to do is all right with me. Let's stay together, Tina Turner. Interesting. Yeah, guys, I do feel here that strong um that there's some indecision here for sure but what is funny about this card is it's a contradiction it's whatever you whatever 
whatever you want to do is all right with me, but then it's, let's stay together. It's, it is a contradiction. They're just trying to be, there is a little bit of ego. We see that with the Cobra energy. I feel like that's melting away and that has a lot to do with the past here with the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords here. Guys, this Libra energy, also the Seven of Swords, this Aquarius energy. However, there is still a little bit of ego here that came through actually quite strong. <laughs> Strongly strong. All right, there's two coming down together. Whoops. I was born to love you with every single beat of my heart. Yes, I was born to take care of you. Queen, I was born to love you. Look at that. I'm putting it here with the lover's card and the possibilities card. But oh, oh my, my dear, our love is here to stay. Together we're going a long, long way. In time, the Rockies may crumble. Gibraltar may tumble. They're only made of clay. Ella Fitzgerald, Our Love is Here to Stay, written by George Gershwin. It's about those obstacles. I want to tell you the Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble. They're only made of clay. It's this obstacles here that your person is representing. Who? Yeah. What are those? Other people, situations here, each other. Something you guys need to agree on and talk about. Location, distance for some of you. It's pretty intense. Wow. Your reading is... Amazing, pile two. Okay, this is feeling these. Well, these came out together. You think I'd leave your side, baby? You know me better than that. By your side, Sade. Who, guys? Here, where do I want to put it? It's, this is very difficult because I... Um, I hate covering cards, but you know, if you know my readings or if you don't, I guess you know now that happens. Why do stars fall down from the sky? Every time you walk by, just like me, they long to be close to you. Close to you. The Carpenter's written by Hal David. This is going right here, guys, with this repairing the veil. I almost want to put it here also with the world card, but I'm not going to. That connection to the stars, that is fate in the stars and the books, as we would say, that faded connection here, and that's where that wants to go. Um, this was sticking out, wants to be in the reading. I guess I'm lying to myself. It's just you and no one else. I miss you, the Rolling Stones. I keep crying. I keep trying for you. There's nothing like you and I, baby. Sade, ordinary love. Sade was quite prominent in Pile One's reading. So if you feel, if you feel drawn to Pile One, might also be your pile, or maybe it's your pile. So it's the laughter we will remember. Whenever we remember the way we were, the way we were, Barbara Streisand. Gosh, you guys. Wow, your reading is amazing. Pile two. All right, last chance. Didn't get a chance to sing for you there. Love of my life, don't leave me. Love of my life, queen, Freddie Mercury. All right, you guys. Wow, this red thread of fate is quite strong. We also got the world card. We see things turning here. We see more of that twin flame soulmate energy with the justice card, the lover's card. This does not surprise me in the least bit. All right, we're going to get your channel love messages. Then your reading will be coming to a close pile too. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages, direct messages to you from your person. If you feel that you're sending them, please go with what resonates for you. That's yours. I could listen to your voice all day and night. All right, guys, that musical connection coming through here. I do feel that some of you are musicians, um, you or your person, in particular you. That's not going to be for everyone. But when music and, and musical instruments and notes make their way in the reading, that's also a lot about making peace with someone and having a much more harmonious connection. And we know that that's needed here, Pile 2, very much. I'm going to put it here with the Lover's card and the possible restart. I'm always with you. Okay, guys. Interesting that they chose this just flipped right in my hand to be with the seven of swords there, that Aquarius energy. Yeah, your person, um, 
I feel like they weren't honest about something here, but also the running off cycles, we're going to stop there. I'm hiding my true feelings. I do feel that they were. That goes with the imbalance and the arrogance here. I do feel that that is changing though now, guys. Pile two. I am so sorry I hurt you. Look, right here, landing right here with the three of swords. Coming out together. You have changed me for the better. Don't ever change. Interesting. All right, that was me. Um, if I could show you what I did here, there's just all kinds of cards. I'm going to show you what came in the stacks, though, what are showing themselves to me. There's too many cards here, but please forgive me and I miss you. So those are wanting to be here in your reading. The rest are just too many. And then these in particular did come out together. My sign for divine timing, guys. Let's look at them in order. You deserve so much more. That wants to be here with the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords. I am waking up. I feel like that belongs here. Yeah, that turtle pace has been slow, but with the night. Prince Wands, excuse me. My world changed when I met you. That is definitely here with the world card. Okay, last chance, and then your reading will be coming to a close pile too. Here we go. You are my biggest wish. Pile two, that's your reading. Bye. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. We're shuffled and ready to go, so let's get started. We're going to get an overall energy for your person and the connection, let me fix this, <laughs> that you are here for today. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. All right, here we go. Okay, this has um, quite a few fell down, but this was the one that stuck out, was upright. The moon card is your overall energy for this reading. Pisces energy, also Gemini and Aquarius coming through. Looks like somebody here might be a little bit afraid. There might be something here that you guys need to look at. Is it you? Is it your person? What's going on with all this emotional energy? We'll talk more about this as we get into the reading pile three. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Here we go. The chariot card wanting to be your first card down. First one. And also I want to tell you there's some more of that cancer energy. This is Pisces, but Gemini and Cancer also come through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. We did just get the Eight of Wands coming down here right in your second placement. I can say right here now somebody is afraid but trying to get the courage to speak about something here in the past and come to you. Now it can be coming through in a message. This is your second placement. Can also be a knock on the door. I do feel like there's been a push and pull in this partnership, a little bit of kind of battle of the wills. I want to say a little bit of ego here, but also I have to tell you, well, we need ego to survive, but it can be connected in this particular reading to some fear, fear of the future, fear of commitment, something here going on. But this cancer and energy, this chair card energy is very strong here. This can be about, well, an action, things changing here. And we see that in the second placement. We also know there is something here going on with the moon card and the chariot card, guys. We have those sphinx there. Okay, <laughs> a couple here just flew right off wanting to be in your reading. The hierophant here, interesting. And the star card, wow. Okay, I'm going to keep getting the cards down, but I want to say to you right off the bat, look at here, you have the moon, some fear here, something needing to be discussed, looked at. I feel like it is about the future, guys. And what do we have on one side? We have the Eight of Wands. I do feel it's coming through in a message. Can also be quite literally a knock on the door or a message to get together. And we have the Hierophant card here for me. Well, first of all, this is Taurus energy. This can also represent some differences in, well, how you're seeing things now, how you want things to go, and can include differences in culture, religion, family backgrounds, interesting. Pile two, Hierophant was very much a very strong um, 
very strong in the reading, excuse me, in pile two's reading. We are seeing it here too, and it is quite strong here. It doesn't feel as strong, but it does feel pretty prominent. And we have, of course, Aquarius energy here. Somebody's still having hope, also wanting to start over. This is Aquarius energy, having had some clarity. Um, wow, guys. And I do feel that that is coming through in a message, or as I said, it can be a knock on the door. Here we have the strength card. Yeah. This doesn't surprise me. Why? Because I felt this. I felt that your person is trying to get the courage here. And we see that now with the strength card Leo energy. Also, here we go. There is that symbol, guys, that infinity symbol. This forever love symbol. Also, well, twin flame soulmate energy. If you're not on a twin flame journey, please let that go. Either way, this is a very deep spiritual connection. Your person trying to get the courage as I said, to come here, maybe in a message or to your door, but to do what? To talk here, guys, to speak. Look at that. Wow. Okay. We're going to talk more about that as we get into the reading, but that is an eight. That is an action number. And as we know, with the chariot card, this is an action card. And this is about the past. There are some, you guys are, I do feel like you have been disconnected and part of it has, so there's been a strong ego involvement, sort of a battle of wills here. Your person trying to break that, trying to get the courage here, still quite afraid. Something here maybe they are not dealing with. I do feel like they've been hiding their feelings here, guys. Um, but we do see the star card in that position in my readings. If you've watched my readings before, and if you haven't, I'll tell you, this has evolved into sort of the naughty corner, I say. Say it with a giggle because it's, of course, that is just a, a silly thing to say, but the energies here can be about hiding something, hiding feelings, um, some sometimes some conflicting energies, some conflict, ghosting, that sort of thing. The star card is coming down here, which is telling me somebody is really realizing something here and wanting to start over. And what is that? Well, we see the seven stars. That is about the past. And what is that one star making in an eight? Here, guys, that is the possibility for a new beginning. I do feel that part of the reason the star card is here in this particular corner is they were taking you for granted. It does feel that way. Also, emotionally, maybe kind of playing with your emotions somewhat. That does come through. The emotional energy here is strong, but also in the sense that it's blocked. And we see that here in the moon card. It's still there, but it's blocked by something, some fear from someone. I do feel like that's coming from your person. All right, here we go. The Knight of Swords has made its way into your reading. Very interesting because when I was getting ready for your reading pile three, this did come out and I thought afterward, I thought, oh, oh, wait, that, that wanted to be in the reading. And then I thought, well, no, it got put back in. It's been shuffled. It's, it's not coming out. And I was still shuffling and thought it would come back and it didn't. And here it is, the Knight of Swords energy. First of all, this is Aquarius and Gemini energy, but Aries and Capricorn do come through for me. And this is about changing things and kind of a person that might be coming with a lot to say. And what do we see here right in your second partnership placement? The Eight of Wands. I do feel your person is coming here um, with some clarity. Look, there's still something needing to be worked out. I also feel on their end. Now, I do feel those boundaries that you, that, that you both have up, the blocks here. Traditionally, um, you had to tell riddles to the Sphinx to get through them, and they are guards, so to speak. You both have them. Look, they're on this journey of love. It's very emotional. We see here this Cancer and energy. We also see the armor here, in particular, um, to, for protection. That is protection. So somebody here is feeling quite vulnerable. I feel like that could be you, Pile 3. But also this battle of wills here. You both have your blocks up. Also that black and white, that yin and yang. There's definitely an imbalance here I want to say to you but your person really wanting to speak with you and I do feel like it's going to come out of nowhere with this knight of swords also we see here with this particular horse it is very emotional it's very passionate your person is wearing their armor here so I do feel that 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 kind of ego battle a little is still going on they have a lot to say, so and just be sure about what you want to say when you are ready to talk to your person so you are clear and can keep your cool um, and know what it is that you want from your person. That is a message coming down. And look at this horse. 
it's looking a little bit like slow down, slow down. You're, you're, you have me going so fast. They're holding on to the harness here, which tells me it is, it is really quite fast, guys. It can be for some of you. There's something they're seeing or hearing in your life that's making them afraid that they're losing you. And that is also some of the fear here. Interesting that I see, and it can be something here that they're afraid of and they're not wanting to face it here. Still coming to you, I feel like, with some fear. Now, that sword energy can be conflicting, but it's also, as we know, it's transactional. That's transactional energy, and we see it all over here, all over the table, really. Um, here with the chariot card is the first card, the eight of wands, and even the strength to come to you as well, and that action as well in the star card in many ways, because the star card does come to an eight, and that is an action number. That is also a lucky number. Um, somebody here really hoping that they can win you back is what I feel like and have this renewal with you. But also they have a lot, I feel like they have a lot of apologies to make that can also be what's coming through here. And it might take a while for, for it to soften because they're driven, I feel like, by fear here. But they were taking you for granted, I feel like. Look, this is sticking out. It wants to be in your reading. There's that number again. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, look here coming below the Hierophant card. Interesting. Now the Pentacles, as we know, are about commitment. This is your love reading pile three. For the most part, I want to say no contact and or in separation. However, in, in my pick of cards, they're not always about that. So that's not going to be for everyone. But I do want to tell you, the pentacles are about commitment. This is about the partnership. I do believe that your person here wants to show you that they can, they can do it. I'm here, look. And I do feel also they have maybe been working on themselves behind the scenes here. Interesting. The higher font coming down too. It can be that your person has gosh here been working on things spiritually as well as we see with the Hierophant card I do feel in particular this is about other other people kind of coming into play and also the differences that may have put some fear into your person maybe that's one of the things when when we're afraid of people that we're not like or we have differences it's because of the differences it scares people sometimes so um, maybe also it can be about something that you were wanting in the future here. Either way, your person here coming through with that eight, that action number, really do feel they're coming here and wanting to, having that hope for a new start and wanting to prove themselves to you. And I think you're going to, th I feel like you want them to work for it too, as I still feel your boundaries are up here. And if you look, there is a fortress in the back. That is the journey of love. Your person set up camp here right by a tree. That is the going into the ground, into the roots, wanting to work at something long term with you. And we see here that there are five pentacles on this particular tree telling us that these this is representing that change they want to make and move past the conflict and instability, which we see here, which they're wanting to do. It's kind of rushed. It feels like as I said, driven by fear with the moon card and this particular card, nonetheless wanting to get the courage to come. And it can be like, you know, this, I'm just going to, what it, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go, I'm just going to call them and send the message. It can be some messages have come through. That's been coming. That's been a very strong collective energy lately. And I haven't felt it in the last readings, but I am feeling it here that maybe something got unsent and that you saw maybe even something, um, pretty conflicting or aggressive and gaudy race. It's not going to be for everyone. But your person here, look, working away, hammering in that nail. They're really wanting to get it. I feel like they're just going to be really like, um, they're driven by fear here, guys. Afraid that you're going to leave. But also, I do feel like they have been working on things here in relation to this partnership. And it can be for some of you interesting. Not for everyone that just came through that it can be about a new house or apartment or something here within that partnership that your person um, wants to make prove something to you. Gosh, you guys really wants to prove something to you here. And that's the other thing about pentacles is it's about feeling safe here. And I, I don't know that you felt so safe or that you even feel safe enough to, to move that sphinx at the moment quite yet. Maybe you're coming to that, but quite yet. And the practicalities under the pentacles are everything where you're living, where you're going to live, or if family is really important to you, the family 
um, situation aligning up or what it is in the future, the differences in culture. For some of you, particular religions or traditions that you want upheld that maybe are very different from your person. But that is coming down here with these pentacles of those things needing to line up. And I think that's been part of the fear here in this connection. Interesting how things went today. Look, we have two coming out. This is wanting to be here right underneath the star card. And this is also here. I'm going to put it here in the middle. Wow. Okay, so this was also part of pile, want to say pile two's reading, if you want to check out pile one or two, if you feel drawn to it. But the nine of pentacles here, guys, some more of those pentacles going from an eight to a nine. What comes after the nine? The ten. We will do some clarifying today to see what exactly, kind of to get a bigger picture. And I do have quite a few decks as well as as I did with pile one and two is, is also for you. But this nine of pentacles, um, pile three, I do feel like you're feeling quite good about things. Just, and I feel like you're feeling strong. That's the interesting thing here. You are coming through in this energy. I do feel your person trying to get the courage and maybe just going, okay, I'm just going to go for it here with that. We see here with that knight of swords, but I do feel your boundaries, your you're kind of your protector still up. You also have, um, excuse me, where is that? Well, we don't have it in this card. What am I thinking here? But I'm seeing, I'm so, yeah, it's the Queen of Wands. I'm seeing that black kitty here. Some of you might actually have one, but interesting. You're feeling, you're really guarding your heart right now is what I feel like. This person has hurt you um, and they are driven by fear here, afraid that you're leaving. Maybe there's something you've been putting out too through other people, through family, or friends or social media somehow of maybe trying to get to your person because I do feel this little battle going on between you, but you were really hurt by your person. You're really protecting your heart here is what I feel like. You're doing, you're feeling quite strong here, guys. Um, of course, underneath that armor is your heart and is your soft, um, mushy insides. It's not just the armor here because what is underneath that? So you're still you, you still have that big heart, but I do feel you're feeling the opposite of your purse, and I feel there, whoa, there's that throat chakra. This has gone, come, happened in every single one of these readings today. Wow. Wow. Okay. But I do feel your purse in trying to get that strength, and I feel like it's kind of the opposite for you, that you're feeling quite strong, actually, here. Now, interestingly, below the star card, we do have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, guys, here, the Scorpio energy your person, I, I feel like, really hurt you, as I said, in the chariot card, the cancer and energy here. I do feel they really hurt you. And there are those three cups spilled over. There is that three. For me, that is a sign of divine timing, but also that three. Guys, I don't feel like you really, you're, you really feel like your person heard you about what happened. I don't feel like they took it so serious. And that's partly why it got so quiet. Um, because this battle of wills and also why you still have your armor and your sphinx up here. What was that third party, that third cup? Was it a person? Was it more than one person? I feel like it's the situation. Either way, I do feel like you're feeling stronger now. For those of you that aren't, you could take that off, that cloak, and use it to to carry your cups over to this emotional river here. Fill them up if you need to, if you want to. Cross over that new beginning, that bridge here, guys to that fortress here if you want that change for yourself because I do feel that for some of you not for everyone your person still having hope and for a lot of you too that is coming through here I do feel like that your person really hurt you emotionally something here in that third party whether it's a person or a particular circumstance maybe not standing up for some of you just came through too but that just taking you for granted here and you haven't let your person go the cups are still there. Your person also has regret. They haven't let you go either. They do have that regret, and I feel like they're trying to find a way to express it. I do feel them coming, but I feel the, excuse me, the fear and wanting to prove something to you and you needing that. I feel like you really need that here um, in order for that armor to come off and for you to move that sphinx out of the way. Okay, guys, we're going to get a little bit of clarifying as I'm doing here with pick of cards. What do I want to look at today? I feel like, well, there's a couple of things I want to say to you. I have a lot of decks over here. <laughs> okay, we're going to look at some illuminated tarot for some clarifying here. I have quite a few decks here, guys, to my right. So 
Stay tuned for some oracle love messages, song messages, but right now we're gonna get some clarity. What I feel like I want to clarify is the Hierophant card because I feel this Taurus energy here, it's, it's not as strong as Pile 2, but it's still quite strong. It's right in the middle here of the overall energy, which is a lot about your person's fears here. And that dried up stream, then you're still there. You're both still there. We see that in the pillars. You're both still very emotional but it's dry, it's being blocked here, as you can see. It's being blocked, the emotions, and that's part of that ego battle that I feel, and those sphinx up, those boundaries, something that happened here. Your person really hurt you, and it really hurt your heart, which is why you have that armor there. The feelings are still there, you simply need to move this crustacean, and you, but I feel like your person needs to look at it in order to move it. That's what I feel. Now, if you feel like, well, I there's something I need to deal with in this connection and look at it and let it flow and feel those emotions and move on, then that's how it is for you because that can be with the Five of Cups. But I feel here more that's the block between the both of you but your person's fear coming through. Um, anyway, I really want to get a little bit of clarifying here on the Hierophant card because I do feel that this is about some differences in your your life and who you are as people. And that's the other thing I, I want to say to you. You're both coming from very diff different backgrounds and you're different people. You have different childhoods, different things that you went through. And I feel like that's part of this connection to your person's fear here. Interesting. And also why you kind of have this brave face and you're being strong and you're, you're saying you're not letting them penetrate you. Um, that's the wrong word. <laughs> You're not letting them get through that armor. Okay, um, let's look here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you tell us more about the Hierophant card? Here it is. All right, so here we have the clarifier, interestingly, for the Hierophant card. This is the four of Four of Clubs, Four of Wands, I wanna tell you, as you can see, look, there is that laurel, floral wreath here, some eye opening, as you can see, interestingly, with this deck. Those are the wands, those are the energy of love, and look what is coming off them. Those are trees, or excuse me, leaves about change. What is that change? A reunion here, guys, wanting to come back together here. There is the path going off where? Into the sun, interestingly, because very interesting, I want to say to you, because that is also part of the the temperance card that often that I often feel, and I'm seeing that now of that imbalance, emotional imbalance here. It's really big here, guys. Your person really hurt you. It's wanting to write that and wants that. Well, that happy outcome as we see here. And this can be as with the four, just what you think. Wanting a really wanting things to work, wanting to have a stable foundation with you and what's coming through really strong. As I said, for some of you, this really does have to do with a home or an apartment, a location, some the, the practicalities of the commitment that comes through very strong. This can be for some of you too, um, representative of a particular celebration. So it can be that, that you came together this way, your person is wanting this celebration and reunion with you, but it can also be that maybe you're going to see them here at something. That won't be for everyone, but that has come through. But this Hierophant energy is quite strong because I really do feel that this is tied to, yeah, who you are, who your person is, and the differences. Locations, the practicalities of the Eight of Pentacles, the Pentacles, what is under that? Differences in religion, culture, what you both want, perhaps, whether that can include families. For some of you children, that's not for everybody. But that's quite big. What an interesting card to um, have clarified the Hierophant with. By the way, this is Aries energy. And I do really feel um, I'm not surprised by this because that is the connection to also family for me. And that's what I wanted to know. So that is something really big in this connection, whether it's dreams and wishes from the two of you, things that can, got interrupted, or families of origin. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and get another card over here because I do feel that this is you, Pile 3, with your armor on, having been hurt. And in conjunction with this Eight of Wands of your person coming, what might be um, something coming up here. Let's get a little clarifying. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels and Ancestors. This kind of really sticking to my hand. All right, guys. 
So in looking at the chariot card in the eight of wands, we got the nine of diamonds. These are, of course, pentacles. This is coming through Virgo energy here. Wow, look, we also got the, um, got it here. This is a very different card, of course. This is the Rider Waite deck, but it's coming through again. And I do feel here, <laughs> interestingly, I did feel that this is you, feeling quite strong here. And kind of, I feel like you could kind of go either way with your person. Wow, here, you were really hurt. You do still have your your um, armor on, as I said, but I do feel that you were feeling the opposite of trying to get courage, but you were feeling kind of strong. So I do feel here in clarifying that, that it could be your person has already written you or come to you and they're waiting, but it can also be here just telling us this clarifying and this validation of where you're at right now. And I do feel you are in this strength, guys. Um, interesting here, look, you have an eye kind of peeking out. <laughs> Um, this a little bit of wake up energy here and this this particular nine of pentacles. So I do feel that you're doing, you're feeling strong. Um, it's, yeah, if you're feeling it's the opposite and that it's not you, it can be that this is not your reading or that it's vice versa energy for you. But I do feel here that you have been hurt and underneath that, that hurt is there. It's not gone. But I do feel the ego, the battle of wills here going on between the two of you. But in clarifying that, I see here that you might be making it a little bit difficult <laughs> for your person. You may have already, but you're feeling in your power. And I, I wanna say here, a particular message that's coming through is you you stay in your power about what it is you need and want here for yourself, guys, to trust your intuition, to trust yourself, trust your, your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels. And this is a nine. And I do feel like the time is now. That's the other thing. I, it does feel like they're trying to conquer their fears to come here. And it feels like it's quite quick. And that is coming through also. And things coming to fruition. And also with that nine, attainment and fulfillment. And we know that here in this particular reading. Your person really here. A um, little bit of wake up energy too. And that's interesting that that, <laughs> that is there. I feel like in your energy, but I feel that's your person's wake up energy um, having some realizations here. And it can be again, also what's coming through here with this four of clubs is um, as I said, that your person can be seeing or getting messages too um, about how you're doing and getting nervous that you might be leaving. Because I do feel your, I feel your strength and your power here, power, pile three. It's actually quite beautiful. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this down now. I want to look at some, um, I was going to look at some light Sears tarot. So let me just grab one here. I did have the turquoise on it, so your person can be a Sagittarius in particular, but also a Capricorn, and that can also be you. Um, but I did put it on the Light Sears Tarot, so let's just go ahead and get one. And what I want to know in particular is, has your person already come through, or are they coming through? And whatever particular message that um, Spirit wants to send down. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. All right, here we go. So this is what is wanting to come down here. <laughs> yeah, it's the Eight of Wands. Wow, this number is really super um, strong here. And what it is, look, what is it? Excuse me. I'm, I'm clarifying here. I wanted to know about this particular situation of them getting the strength to come to you. And we got that. We got that here. There is another Eight of Wands. The echoing in your reading is, wow, amazing here. And there are the Eight of Wands again. That action number, that magic. Hi guys, apologies. I tried to keep an eye on the camera, but that just, I didn't catch it. It ends at a certain um, point. But that eight of wands energy coming down again, as I clarified, is your person getting the strength to come here, but also, or did they? It really is clear here that for some of you, your person already has written, but a double confirmation if they haven't that they are or possibly even coming to you. That's strong. Look at that chariot card energy here in this little triangle. Also the Knight of Swords quite quickly. Quick change here with the Eight of Wands. Another Eight of Wands and clarifying the Strength card. Them getting the Strength to come in the Knight of Swords and getting it again. So that's very clear. And again, those are the energy of love, guys. Those are the energy of love and it's a very quick change. And wow, that doesn't surprise me really in the least bit. <laughs> okay, um, now I'm gonna look at some energy oracle cards. I did take put down today. You can see it's it was glowing here. Yeah, it's very glowy. Look at that. 
Wow. Selenite, Taurus energy, very high vibrational. And what's interesting that I chose this today is a couple of things. One, it is uh, really strongly related to the crown chakra here, guys. And a lot of eye opening, a lot of energy coming in and seeing things. But also, it's a very strong, well, look at that, protective energy here. And I do feel that coming through. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow, coming through really strong with you here and um, protecting your heart. So I'm going to put it there. Let's see what Spirit um, has to send us here in the way of Energy Oracle. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels and Ancestors. Okay, community. Yeah, guys, this is a seven here. So I do have to say to you, I do feel very, very strongly that this is about the past and you figuring out some things for yourself. Uh, here that you can and that you cannot change. Now that seven is about the past, but when that comes into a reading, it for me, it is also about you trying to figure out what you want to do here, wh which direction you want to want to go. And the thing about the control that's coming through here for you is what you can control and what you can't to let go. I do feel also that Hierophant energy and that Four of Wands coming through here that you can be getting some advice or have somebody in your life here, particularly for some of you, maybe um, siblings or good friends, um, family members as well, as I said, that can be like your good friends. Friends are chosen family that have been helping you um, on this journey and deciding where to go. But it does come through also again that it can be you came together at a particular gathering um, with your person, or it can be that you are. And, and the other thing here, it is coming through strong. As we clarified the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, your person here, for some of you really wanting this reunion here and wanting to prove to you that they're working on things, really having hope for that and realizing what they have done. I feel like emotionally here, and that's part of the fear that we're seeing. And we're seeing that here again in many ways, the community card coming down a lot like that. As you can see, there is a celebration here. We see if you look closely, there is a little key hanging off the illumination, also a butterfly. Some more of that interesting, that Hierophant energy coming through. Here we also see the floral laurel wreaths with some fruit, some abundance here. So it can be here that your person is really dreaming about this reunion here. Even we don't see any particular cards suggesting a proposal, um, but they're making their way in somehow. So it can be for some of you that is the case, but it can also be that proposal to start over. And again, um, there is a very strong connection to the, cel the celebratory aspects here. You see it. And there are those pillars again. There you both are. Look, there's a little bit of this energy here, this ego, which I feel coming through here with the Knight of Swords. Um, kind of both of you, but I feel like yours is more about protection. A lot of stuff going on here, guys. And the last thing I want to say before we move on um, today is this harp. When instruments, music, notes come down in my readings in particular, that is a lot about making peace here. Your person really wants to own it. I just feel that they're scared. They know they really hurt you. I can see that here. We see the hurt in the five of cups and I feel it here in the chariot card. I feel it in your heart. I feel the, the hardness a little, the protection, the armor, but I know there's this soft, soft you under there as well. And you are still here. Um, if you're not and you're leaving, then you trust yourself and do what you need to do. But there is a very strong connection to family, friends, celebrations here. I'm going to move that, just put it there for now. Let's get one more. Then we're going to, um, just going to get one chakra card here. Then we're going to move on to love messages. All right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, you guys. Um, now I want to tell you in particular, well, first of all, there's that one, new beginnings. There's the sun. We know that also as the 10 in particular with the sun card of new starts, new beginnings, a happy outcome here. The thing I want to tell you about this particular sun card is this is about you and your happy outcome, your happily ever after. I want to say, what is it that you are wanting here? There is a whole lot going on here, guys. I'm, I'm just not going to get into all of it today. But in particular, I want to say here, it's very emotional. You're in this energy. Of course, you want something beautiful for yourself, a 
future that you're the future that you've been wanting here. And I see that you're feeling strong, but you're also quite vulnerable. You were really hurt. So I do feel it's going to be really be tied to what your person has to say here for a new start. I do feel this energy that some of you are moving on, but there is that energy too here. If you guys want some of you really still having hope for a reunion, but your person's really going to need to make some big apologies and repair some, I want to say some emotional damage here, um, guys. And that Gaia energy comes through too with a lot with all the eights here. It's very, very strong. And also the almost tens here. But this for you in particular is about you going for what you want and that happy outcome. And I love that. Look, there's this little book, some more tied to the Hierophant energy here also with this community. So can be that some of you are light workers and star seeds, but also have particular people in your life that are helping you, particular guide or siblings or very good friends here. And what I love is there's that throat chakra just coming through again. Wow. I do feel like you have a lot to say to your person not just coming through, but that trumpet is about when instruments come through making peace. Um, you do want to make peace with your person, but you also want a happy life and a happy love life and a stable love life and harmonious connection. So whether or not you, your person can come and offer you the apologies that are needed and the chance to restart here. I do feel you here, pile three. In this nine of pentacles, almost the 10, feeling quite good about yourself. I do feel that. And if you don't, you can and you will. Um, that's here for you. That's yours for the taken. Do things for yourself that make you feel good. Go in the sun, in the water, get fresh air, fresh water, sun on your, your body, even if it's the, the 20 minutes we need on our hands, guys, to give us that uh, serotonin boost and that melatonin we need to sleep. Getting good sleep, surrounding yourself with people you love, friends and family. That is super strong here. Look at this. Um, so whatever it is you're going to do, I want to say to you, there is some special messages coming through for you, Pile 3, that if you're not feeling particularly strong, as I as I think you are, I also know that you are deep down not. Also, you, you're just a, a person and a human with a heart that's been hurt, and that's why you have the armor there. Um, so if you're not feeling like, well, I'm not in that energy of feeling so strong, and as this particular bird here, and as we see in the sun card, this is in your reading. I want to say that to you, and you can have that. That can be for you. And if that is what you're wanting, a of course, a happy outcome with a particular person, then you need to be clear about that, about what you need for yourself and also with your person. And if you're wanting to move on here, as we see some of you might, fill up those cups with that cloak, take it off and cross that bridge, then you do that. You do what you need to do. But this is yours. Take care of yourself, guys. Take care of yourselves. Excuse me. That is a special message for you that has come through, and, and I love that for you. And also, look, it's wanting to be right here, which is also coming some new messages for you next here to the Eight of Pentacles. That is a magic number. That is an action number. So that is also some work that you might need to be doing on yourself here. And I don't mean doing the work so that, you know, you can be what they want. That's not what I mean at all. I mean doing the work so that you can be what you want and make the choices you want for yourself. Okay, guys, um, I did choose today this heart rose quartz. This is Libra coming through. Um, also Aries, and this really is also about interesting that's coming through. It is the universal stone of love. So it's about a whole lot of stuff here, but what's coming through, and that was a big part of pile two, was forgiveness was for the two of, um, for the, for the partnership. I do feel that, but I also feel for you. I don't know why, but that's coming through for some of you about something about forgiving, letting something go for yourself. That's just a particular message for you. I did put that on the chakra card. So let's get one here. Then we're going to move on to channeled love messages and channeled song messages today. Dissipating. <laughs> I love this for you. Look guys. Yeah, if you're not feeling so great, you will be. Look at that. It's dissipating. It's um, it's kind of going away, I want to say, the, the, any negativity. This particular bird here, too, that is the, the, the um, 
that same type of feeling that I have here of feeling good about yourself. So if you're not, you will be here. Um, I love that for you. It's in particular, it's interesting. It's a, an older person watching the television. And that can also be about how you've been not feeling so motivated to do some things or to um, talk to your person or whatever that is, or do the work that you need to do, whatever that is here. Um, I do feel this strong connection with the nine of pentacles and these particular birds. Some of you are already moved out of this. Some of you aren't as we were just talking about, and that wanted to be in the reading for particular people. Okay. We're going to, um, actually, I have to give you this, and then we're going to be done. <laughs> this is Animal Spirit Oracle, and I'm not going to draw anymore because as I was getting ready for your reading, this particular card, which I know what it is, it kept falling out as I was shuffling. And I thought, okay, this belongs to pile three, and then we have the deck here for shuffling, but this reading has gone on a little bit long, so we're going to not get any more because we still have some messages to get through, but we are going to look at this and what I saw it's that scorpion here. Um, interesting, of course, that can be the Scorpio energy coming through. But in particular, what I want to tell you about the Scorpio is that I do feel um, there is this hurt. Now I'm realizing why this card came down. It really hurt you. It really hurt you. Could have been, could be your Scorpio, your person was. Not the point. Not the point at all. But I do feel here, and it can be for some of you, maybe that that kind of caused you to do a little bit of lashing out, and maybe even with some family and friends. It's not for everyone here. But what I want to say most important that I'm realizing the reason this kept coming and wanted to be in your reading, I can see very clearly here now. It's about your healing. It's about your healing pile three, about what had happened to you with your person. So whether you decide to move on here um, or move on, move on, move on, move on with your person or move on without your person, there is some healing here for you and taking care of yourself and feeling good about yourself if you don't, okay? I know you have that armor on, but you have a nice, beautiful heart under there and you've got to take care of it, okay? I'm going to set this here. And now we are going to look at some channeled love messages, direct messages to you from your person. Pile three, if you feel that you're sending them, then you go with that. It's what resonates for you. Okay, that was sticking and then it didn't. Here we go. I dream about our life together. It's all I want. Wow. Now, it can be that that's you. It can also be your person. I did feel your person... I'm wanting to come to you here with a renewal and talk about how they're doing the work. I do feel like you're not totally trusting them, but I also felt the energy of you doing work on yourself here being quite important. So it can be that you're feeling like that was you, but you're coming out of it, but also a strong feeling here with the reunion energy of your person. And, you know, it's really about what resonates for you guys. I know when, when, when a reader says that, it, it can sound so general, but it is. It's a general reading. And particular messages are for you. Look, this is way too many cards, but this is upright. That's yours. I play songs that remind me of you on repeat. Okay, we're going to take that and keep it because it wanted to be here. All right. <laughs> now these came in three and they, um, yeah, so this is three and these are two over here. We're going to look at them. That's the most I will take. That is my sign for divine timing, but also what is that third thing here that's still important in the connection, that sting from the scorpion, those three cups that are spilled over, the, the, whatever happened here. So let's look in order. Every time my phone vibrates, I hope to God it's you. This is what I want to know. Is this you? Or did you maybe even block your person here? Interesting. When I tried to clarify whether your person had already written, we did get the Eight of Wands, which clarified that. Or excuse me, we were clarifying the Knight of Swords here. I do feel that for some of you, your person wrote. I also feel, and that you might not be getting back to them right away, but I also feel it's coming here. So interesting if your person is waiting or are you waiting? You are hard to resist. I spy on you. Wow. Okay. Who's watching who here? As I said earlier on in the reading, I did feel that somebody and maybe your person was kind of noticing things or hearing things. So that could also tell us why they're sort of rushing in here um, with, you know, this, the horses through fear, fear of losing you is what I feel. And for some of you, they may have. These came down in twos here. So it can be telling us that somebody here has a decision that can be you. 
No, I am not over you. My love for you, my love is for you, nobody else. I feel like it's your person, some of the things that they might have said or w will be saying to you, but it can also be that you're um, feeling like those are your messages you're sending. It really is going to be different, okay? There we go. I don't deserve you, but I want you. And that is definitely coming for your person. And I do feel some of you saying, yeah, it's true. <laughs> With that armor on. Wow. Here, guys. Okay. Can't even be coming through in a, in a particular message or it already did. You give me butterflies. Wow. That is that butterfly feeling that we get here. I didn't really know love until I met you. Is that some of the realizations and some of that wake-up energy that we feel here, guys? Interesting. I don't know if you can still see this particular card, the Nine of Pentacles there. Again, your person realizing that about you. Come back to me. Wow. Okay. You know I still want you. Hmm. I'm not sure who that is for, I have to say to you. I, I generally can feel that energy, and I'm not really... I feel like it's your person. Um, and I, I feel like it's your person here now. It's strong, and that you're just... You've got that armor on. That's what's coming through there. Okay, last chance. And we got two came down with that last chance. Thinking of you gets me through... My stomach drops when I wake and realize you are still gone. Interesting. This can be physically, but it can also just be from the connection. It doesn't mean... I feel like this dissipating too, getting put by the Five of Cups, is some of that um, hurt for you being let go. Your heart healing. That's really strong, guys. That healing of your heart happening and needing to continue or needing to start if it hasn't. Okay, more channeled song messages. These are messages through song from your person, but if you feel you're sunning them, please go with that pile three. Can be a particular song comes down of relevance to the two of you. Can also be for you or an artist. And it can be a message that even I can't decipher, a name, location, something within the message here that they're sending and you feel that and you know that, or you're sending or feel like you want to send can be um, also that it's an entire song in the lyrics. So please go with what resonates for you. And if you're sending it, go with that as well. All right, look, there is that three, the most I take coming down. I'm gonna read them in order when they come down, came down. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. I'm not one of those who can easily hide. I don't have much money, but boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. Your song, Elton John, there's that musical connection, which we also see here. We saw in the, the horn. But guys, I did talk about that a little earlier for some of you about building a house. It's strange. Or a house together or setting up house, that sort of thing. That is a particular message for some of you, not for everybody. And it can be that song is yours. Love soft as an easy chair. Love fresh as the morning air. One love that is shared by two, I have found with you. Barbara Streisand, Chris Christopherson, Evergreen, written by Paul Williams. Well, we know here, the Four of Wands, guys, and also here in this particular community card is a lot. Um, it's about reunions, and the floral, the laurel wreaths, for reunions are made of evergreen leaves here. So I do feel your person is wanting a reunion here, guys. Wow. Um, yeah. And it's just the question is if you, if that is what you're wanting and are you going to accept it or did they already come to you? On the day that you were born, the angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. So they sprinkled moon dust in you. They longed to be close to you by the carpenters, the carpenters singing it, written by Hal David. That's some super strong um, Pisces energy here, guys. Ca uh, excuse me, Cancer. Also Gemini, also Aquarius here. And wow, that spiritual connection. Whether you decide to move on and hold them in your heart or accept these apologies that I hope are coming for you. It feels like you need to step back a little. Um, 
in that particular message or before you respond. But uh, yeah, and it could be that you already have. Anyway, I feel your healing is really strong here. Okay. I keep trying. I keep crying for you. No. <laughs> I'm reading that backwards. I keep crying. I keep trying for you. There's nothing like you and I, baby. Sade, ordinary love. Somebody kind of doing that, like, warming up to you here. Trying to get that armor off. Is that your song? There's nothing we can't overcome if you let me be your only one. There's nothing we can't overcome if you let me be your only one united together, Aretha Franklin. Wow, that's interesting, guys. That's that lover's card energy coming through, Gemini. Who? That's for some of you, there was another person here, but this is also about overcoming some pretty big obstacles here. Can it be for some of you? It, it, I think it can that they're that you're what they're seeing here maybe on social media or hearing through friends and family is that you're moving on they're getting I as I feel they're kind of being driven by fear a little bit here that won't be for everyone but for someone here I know for sure because that message is strong okay these two were sticking out just trying to go back into the deck so I'm going to take them but now they only block the sun they rain and snow on everyone so many things I would have done, but clouds got in the way. Both sides now, Joni Mitchell. Wow, guys. Yeah, this is a, a strong indication of some, maybe some, well, some bad decisions, some clouded judgment. Also, maybe other people, situations that got involved here. But it's kind of like when we look back at our childhood and things that happened. There comes a point, it did happen to us, people did things. There comes a point when we have to take responsibility because it's, our life now we have to um, do the healing that we need to do so that is also coming through if I had the choice of only one friend in this world you know that I'd want it to be you I'd want it to be you Barbara Streisand Willie Nelson written by Steve Dorff Jay Landers and Bobby Tumberlin I believe this was quite strong in pile two's um, messages here too so your person missing the friendship as well but i do feel like they really hurt you and and, and kind of messed up some of that trust this is the last card coming down look i didn't give a last chance because it was hanging off the deck you're asking me will my love grow i don't know i don't know you stick around now it may show I don't know. I don't know the Beatles something. George Harrison. This is very appropriate to this reading because it does feel like um, this indecisiveness here that you were putting up with, the emotional energy, that the taking you for granted, kind of thinking you would always be there. I do feel that here strong. And I feel like the room was still not sure and saying, well, like, let's try. I do feel some of you will and some of you won't. Okay. I did put the opalite down today, guys, for communication. This is a cancer and energy, also Libra coming through, really about lightening emotional burdens. So let's see what your person, I'm wanting to communicate what it is they want to communicate with you today. Excuse me, the tarot closet channel love messages. And if you feel you're sending um, any, please go with that. And that is how it resonates for you. Don't give up on us. I'm putting that here with the Knight of Swords. Please never give up on us. Interesting. Wow. Okay, look. These flipped right over. Three, the most I'll take. Let's read them in order. Oh my gosh. Don't give up on us. Please never give up on us. I will never give up on us. Whoo. Very goosebumpy. I miss you. Yeah, I do feel that. Don't ever change. Wow, guys. Yeah, I do feel that. They're really driven by, um, yeah, fear of losing you. I want to kiss you. There is that physical energy coming through. Okay, this just flew off the deck. Yes, I know you love me. Who is sending that? Who is sending that? All right, those three came down and look. <laughs> That's the most I'll take and these two were in my hand. So let's look at these. My heart is yours. I'm afraid you will reject me. Yeah, that is the fear that we fear here of them losing you, you rejecting them. These are the three that came down. I'm gonna read them um, in this order, excuse me. I am waking up. 
there is that star energy. Yeah, and we also saw it strangely in the nine of um the nine of diamonds here, the nine of pentacles, which we saw here too. I feel that's your energy, but as I said, they're in your energy realizing you are so beautiful. Some more of that kind of winning you over energy coming. We belong together. Wow, guys. Okay, let's give them a last chance. And that is the end of your reading, Kyle 3. All right. It's really hard living without you. I can hear some of you now. <laughs> I know your heart is hurt. You do what is the best for you. You take care of yourself. Take those messages to heart about healing, okay? Bye, Pile 3.